Hey, this is Key Nasty 3890 here with a new MLB 15 The Show video. Uh, we're going to be talking about cards that were updated. Uh, today's Monday, cards were updated either for better or for worse. And we're going to go over a couple of them. And we're going to go over some hits that I had. And I don't want to say misses, but cards that have yet to improve that I still think will or maybe I could be wrong. Um, so let's go over cards that have improved. Um, big one that went from a gold to a diamond is a Matt Harvey. He is up to a 94 overall. Or, yeah, he was a 91, he is now a 94. I can, oop, won't buy him. So I don't have him, that's why I missed him. Right there, there you go, there's Matt Harvey. Uh, he's going for a good amount, but over 20K, yeah. So if you can, if you're able to pull him, pretty filthy card. Um, I personally wouldn't use them. I got I use silver pitchers. They work great for me. Um, I don't think you need to invest highly in pitchers. You just need to get the right pitchers. Um, speaking of cards, I said that didn't hit. Drew Smiley, I said, was a good card to pick up. He's out for the season, most likely. He won't get upgraded. He, if anything, will get downgraded. Um, I'm I used him once. He's not too bad. Um, but I, it's unfortunate because I think he has good stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go over to another card that improved. Mostly because I have him, so we're going to talk about him. It's Angelton Simmons. Uh, he was an 84. He is now an 88. One of the bigger risers today. Um, his uh, his contact went up a little bit. Power basically stayed the same. Fielding is a little bit better. Um, I think his reaction went up a couple. His fielding, I think, only went up one. Arm strength, I think, went up a little bit. I, I just use him for the defense. Even though he's a gold, he is such a great defender. And he hits for me. I mean, there's his stats. He hits. Not great, but there's a little bit of pop there, which but I haven't bad eighth. He works well for me. Um, also, guys, I know people ask me, oh, when, how, when can you do a video for tips on how to hit? Can you do uh, gameplay videos? I do gameplay streams. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash knasty3890. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you follow me on there. Uh, I do videos all the time, I uh, streams all the time, so it's a live stream, you can interact with me while I'm playing, and you guys can just ask me any questions, and I can answer them right on the spot. Um, so make sure you guys follow me there, and we can chat and whatnot. Another card that I thought was going to get, not another, but a card that I thought was going to be upgraded, because he was on fire the end of last week, he hit three home runs, he hit two home runs, and the next guy he got a game winning hit, was this Bryce Harper. Um, and it's understandable why he didn't get an upgrade when you think about it. He got an upgrade the week before. He went from 84 to an 87. Now he had an amazing week, but they just upgraded his card. I think they're smart waiting a little bit. His value has plummeted. He was at 16K yesterday, last night. He's down to 12. I guess he was at 10K earlier in the day. Like, cause everyone was upset that he didn't go up in value, but then it's like, it's still Bryce Harper. He will still go up in value, just not today. Um. And I would say these cards, I'm going to go over a couple other cards that didn't go up, go up, but they will. And you still, this you got an extra week to invest in them. Uh, Jock Peterson, I bought several of them. Didn't get an upgrade yet, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But I think he definitely will. If he keeps up the next week or so, definitely uh, going to be working on getting that upgrade. Another card that got an upgrade is Eric Hosmer, uh, Kansas City. He went from an 82 to an 85. Let's find him here. I, mean, I, I unfortunately do not have him. I like his card though. Where are we? Where are we? There we go. I mean, that's it's a lefty first baseman. Look at the fielding, great fielder. Like I, I if you guys have listened to my streams, in my videos, I love fielding in this. Uh, not a ton of power at first base. You kind of wish you had more, but solid contact, great fielder. I don't have a problem with that card. And he's only 25, so he can still have, uh, still get upgraded throughout the year. Another card that got upgraded, or downgraded, I would say, uh, which I would invest in, is Corey Kluber. He's had a rough start the season, but his when you look further into his stats, he's not getting hit hard, but he's giving up a lot of runs. His ERA is lousy. He doesn't have a win yet, which he can't control. That's based on how his offense plays. If you want to invest in a guy becoming a diamond, maybe, Corey Kluber is definitely a guy. He didn't win the Cy Young last year by accident. That's not an accident that he got the Cy Young. So I would definitely consider uh, putting money into him. Another card. I'm trying to think. I'm looking at the list here that I would want to look at. Uh, they got an upgrade. Which we'll do one more. Uh, it's in the Dodgers. I like him because he can hit too. Is Zach Greinke. Um, 
Let's see what his hitting stats are. That's his hitting stats for a pitcher. That's not bad at all. I mean, 40 contact, basically. Power versus lefty is almost at 40. Power right, yeah, it's 20. I mean, that's, that's not good. Don't, don't, like, don't bat an eighth. But you got to bat your pitcher. That is not a bad option. Um, but, I mean, look at this Dodgers team. They're, they're stacked. And I'm just waiting for Jock to get that card. But there are definitely cards that, have, uh, that haven't that have been upgraded that well. Uh, Gonzalez, I think, went down. I think he was an 84. Now he's down to an 86. Um, I can also post a link in the video. I'll put it in the description of a link of all the players that went up and down. Um, surprise! I was surprised at the lack of players that I thought were going to get upgraded didn't. Like I thought they were deserving of it, obviously, when I was saying that they're going to go up. But... What that means is they can go up just the next week. Uh, I, I I really believe, like the card I'm saying, Chris Bryant, for instance, didn't get upgraded. His on-base percentage is at, he's hit on-base at 450. A 450 clip and getting on-base, that's Barry Bonds level almost. Now, I'm not saying he's Barry Bonds, but for the first month he's been up, he's getting on-base like Barry Bonds. Uh, he only has one home run. That's going to change. He'll hit more. Definitely like him. I would, that's how much he's going for. I would pick him. Oh, he's 3K. I mean, he's gonna be filthy. He's gonna have a gold. It staying if he's healthy, he will have a gold card. I am firm in that. Another card I thought was gonna get upgraded, which did not, as I bought a couple of these and Mookie Betts. Um, he got hot at the end of last week, but he just does everything well. I mean, he had a triple. He had a couple of home runs in the game. Uh, oh, another card. I'm going through time. Seeing it. Michael Pineda, Pineda, excuse me, had 16 Ks last night, uh, which was Sunday the I believe it was the 10th. 16 Ks in 7 innings, ridiculous. He's finally living up to his potential. I mean, he at 22, he had a great year. Or no, you know, he was 23 his rookie year. He had a great year. Last couple years, injuries, pine tar, just, just didn't work out. This year, it looks like he's finally starting to figure it out. He went from a 77 or a 78. He was a bronze. Now he's a silver. I would stay with him. Like, I, I mean, I was thinking about selling him. A, he's ridiculously cheap. 600 for him. I would hang on to them if you have them, and if you don't, buy some. I would highly recommend buying into them. It's scary because he has injury problems and he gets injured again, and then that goes down the drain. But if he stays healthy, he's got electric stuff. I'm not even using him on my team now that he's a silver because he has, like, when I play, I want a fastball, I want a cutter, and I want a curveball of some sort, it's like a slider works. Cutters, if you're a right handed pitcher, a cutter is a great pitch to use, guys. I can show you in the, in the streams if you want to see that. I highly recommend. Learning how to pitch with a cutter. It's a very good play. Um, so yeah, there's the cards that have been upgraded. Some of the major ones. Uh, as you can see on my team, I now have an extra gold with Angelton Simmons. I moved my creative guy to outfield. I got Bartolo Colon, who I think will get an upgrade soon. When you walk one guy in a month and a half, you should be getting an upgrade. And we'll end this video real quick on a quick pack. Let's see if we get something, something nice. Like I said, guys, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter too. I, I mean, I always, I'm always willing to chat with people on Twitter. Um, nothing here. Just Citizens Bank Ballpark. Uh, Clint Barnes. That's the only guy. Oh no, Tyler Mazurk. Uh, so yeah, not really much of that pack. But yeah, like I said, I always like to interact, interact with you guys on Twitter, on Twitch. You can comment in the comment section, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.